All right. Well, our financial analyst, Steve Buden, is here on this Monday. We've got a financial focus to go over and some big things going on. Uh, first of all, the consumer spending is up, and we talk about this topic a lot. It's hard to kind of stay with it, but you were saying wages are up and yep. consumer spending is up. So people are actually taking their higher wages and using it. Right, and we've talked about this the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the trends have been, for folks who are working, the wages have been creeping up a little bit. The unemployment issue is a whole other thing, but those with jobs are actually seeing some pay increases. The $64,000 question was, what would they do with that money? Would they save it or spend it? And the last couple of months, you're seeing some really strong spending numbers. Mm -hmm. Now, that's really the one thing that can keep the U.S. economy uh, growing versus going into recession, because two-thirds of our economy is consumer spending. The other third is the government, and the government we know is basically dysfunctional at this point. So we really need the consumer to step mm -hmm. up and, and spend money to keep the economy moving forward. Well, I'm glad that wages are up. That's a good thing, right? I figured you'd like to know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, absolutely. Uh, do absolutely. we all get wage increases? Does that mean, or is it factored in? Fine with me. Yeah, but that's good stuff. Okay, yeah. and McCarran traffic is up too, and yeah. the airport, you know, it's been interesting. It, it, it's, it's always busy. Yes. But it seems to slightly go up and down year to year. Now, are we talking month to month or year to year? Yeah, this here? is the month of July, but the okay. month of July was about uh, north of 5% greater than it was the prior July. What was really nice about this report, in my opinion, was, remember in July we had a lot of that Southwest Airlines mm -hmm. issue where uh, folks were having their flights canceled. Right. So the fact that the, oh, yeah. air, the, the traffic was that strong with our number one servicer, Slow, is really good for Vegas. And we know July really would be the slowest month of the year. And to have that traffic really up is, is great. This is a really strong report for Vegas. Yeah, it does seem like it has been busy in Las Vegas. And yeah. the airport is always the indicator of how many people are in and out. Um, and then we've got the international flights too and the extra terminal. So is the extra terminal maybe has possibly helped as well? Yeah, the international uh, traffic, yeah. I think, made up for a lot of the, the weakness that Southwest showed. But it doesn't matter where they're coming from, for the most part. They're coming through the gates. They're coming through the airport hopefully spending a lot of money. All right, that's a good sign. Okay, and then the last thing that is a hot topic yes. right now and literally today is the stadium debate. Let's talk about that. What yes. kind of impact? I mean, everyone's like, <laughs> no. you know, if I hear one more time, well, then you pay for it if you want it, you know, and all that. I mean, it's getting yeah. kind of nasty. <laughs> and I, I stay out of the politics with all of this. As, yeah. as you guys know, I try to focus on the numbers and the business side of it. Who's paying? Whose pockets are going into? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But really, a couple of things. Uh, the... The stadium studies that very often come out with other cities, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. Cleveland, cities that have built stadiums prior, the, the economic benefit usually isn't as strong as those reports would indicate. Okay. But I think a city like Vegas is, is very different because later in the year, uh, my research was showing a lot of the bigger conventions are earlier in the year. So during the, the second half of the year where the, the traffic seems to slow up a little bit, the stadium really could pay some dividends. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I'm not worried about who's paying for it. That's for the, the politicians to decide. But I think from a business standpoint, if they're talking about floating a, a small room fee, I think the thing I was looking at over the weekend was less than a dollar a night. For less than a dollar a night, if you can get this thing built and have folks who might be leaving early Sunday morning stay behind, watch an NFL game before they travel back, whether they attend the game or not, you might keep people in Vegas a little bit longer than they would before they get in their car and drive back to California. To me, I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But I'd be, very, uh, I'd be very concerned about the studies that would come out and say it's going to generate this much economic traffic. Mm -hmm because it usually doesn't pan out that way. Right. I mean, that's always the thing. It's like, do the projections, it's like, right. do, do, do the projections really turn out to be right. exactly what we thought? I mean, we can project as much right. as we want, but who knows how everyone's right. feeling, if they want to go buy a ticket or not, you know, at that time. And nobody, <laughs> nobody, you know, these are projections. Nobody mm -hmm. knows specifically what's going to happen. And not that they're being deceitful, just that until you have the data from the building being built, such mm -hmm. you're making an enormous gamble putting up a $1.9 billion stadium, and then, hey, did it work or not? Yeah. But I, I think the pluses far outweigh the minuses. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's interesting because uh, John Ralston and I were talking about how, you know, the T-Mobile Arena, you yeah. know, is privately funded. It just yeah. seems so much easier. We didn't have oh, to yeah. do all that. Who's going to pay for right. it? We already knew MGM, you know, International was going to pay for it. So. Anytime the government gets in, involved, you know, there's more delay and more... Mm -hmm. You know, back and forth, but I'll leave the politics to Ralston. I know. We won't get involved in that yeah. one. All right. Well, stay with us. Thanks, Steve. Sure. We'll be right back after this with another look at Greg's forecast.